All right, what's going on guys? It's Jack and welcome back to another video. So in this one, I wanted to talk about everything Battle Royale, um, including Warzone, which is pretty much right around the corner. And the more I do research about Warzone or watch videos on it, which every single COD YouTuber and God knows who else um, has been making when it comes to this whole Battle Royale phenomenon that has hit COD since last year with Blackout. And now it apparently we're going to be getting different versions of it. I mean, we have it in COD Mobile. Uh, we've got Warzone that's coming out here within a few weeks or whatever the hell it is. Uh, and we've got Blackout. So, uh, on one hand, I actually have to say that even though I am not a Warzone or a, or a Battle Royale player, I mean, obviously, if you guys watch the footage from my gameplays like this one and the other two to follow uh, in this video, uh, you'll see that I'm not really a passive player and I don't really like to slow down. I guess I'm a person that plays COD, but I've got like... I got like Unreal Tournament and Quake in my blood, even though I never really played those because I never really had access to a PC. And uh, I mean, now that I do, I just, I, I still play console. This is still what I do. And this is what I base my YouTube channel off of. But honestly, if if I had, if I was playing PC right now, and if I decided to make the switch to mouse and keyboard, I'd probably be playing games like Unreal Tournament, anything Call of Duty clone or um, uh, Quake Champions, as I've mentioned time and time again. But the thing is that with the success of COD Mobile and with the success overall of Blackout and because of everything Warzone and the fact that Call of Duty has kind of put its hand, its own hand into the whole battle royale uh, genre, I'm actually happy about it and I'll tell you why. Because, well, first of all, rumors say that Warzone is going to be free to play, which is good. Anything free to play for COD will be good because it'll be successful and, well, hopefully at least, and it can make more money and quite frankly, the one good thing about when COD makes more money is that potentially we will get more free to play content free DLC legitimate content in time to come and, and everything that comes in it in between so and as a matter of fact they're gonna be making more money off of that so on one hand the more money they make the more content that they can produce and this includes games and everything in them and with the way they describe Warzone to where it might be like to where you actually have an unlimited amount of lives until you get to the final circle and if you do die you can actually come back in after a 1v1 on gulag or whatever the hell it is i find that it's kind of interesting and it's to me it's kind of like getting one step closer to that version of battle royale that i myself would play and i've mentioned it in previous videos as well but for those of you that are unaware of what I mean I'm gonna discuss it here as well which is one of the reasons why I made this video as long as it is which is about at least five minutes longer than a regular video so so the thing is uh, in terms of traditional battle royale like Fortnite blackout and hell even with Warzone what they're gonna do I'm probably you know I obviously I don't play the first two and then the thing is I just don't play battle royale it's just too slow I always have to be there always has to be action going on. And for other people, you know, it's it's their cup of tea, and for other people, it's not. I respect it, I understand it, I get it. But here is the one thing. One of the reasons why Call of Duty became popular in the first place is why. Because it's a fast-paced Twitch arcade first-person shooter that is easy to get into, but hard to master, correct? All right. So, with this quote-unquote version of Battle Royale, with every single iteration that they seem to be getting closer to, it's basically like, imagine a map as big as Blackout, right? Not Warzone, because Warzone is said to be like at least twice, if not bigger, than, than, than Blackout, right? Blackout's map. Imagine a game mode like a, a map the size of Blackout's map, right? But instead, you've got anywhere from 250 to 300 players on the map. You've got unlimited spawns, and all you have is a time limit, and whoever scores the most Whoever has the highest score in, in uh, by the time limit by the time the time limit runs out would be the winner. Now the question is, how do you get score? Well, obviously you get kills. You can get stylish kills or whatever if they wanted to. If they wanted to implement that, there would be flags all over the map for domination and or hardpoint or whatnot. I mean, imagine having all your game modes in one big ass map, but they would be optional to play. In other words, if you just wanted to run around and get kills, you could do that. Or if you wanted to just run around and play the OBJ to get extra points that way as well, and if you weren't as good as getting kills or whatnot, you could do that. Uh, imagine the maps being built to where you can actually move around and and basically like a whole bunch of like let's say 
uh, of the traditional or the best maps throughout Call of Duty's history, right? And we're not just talking about the uh, the Treyarch three lane maps. We're also talking about some of the best COD four, Modern Warfare two maps, or, and even Modern Warfare three maps. Looking back at Modern Warfare three, I actually enjoy uh, and appreciate Modern Warfare three now, especially with all due respect, of course, especially with the shit show of maps that we got with Modern Warfare. So it kind of really makes you appreciate <laughs> all the all the stuff that came before because it just I don't know what the hell they were thinking. But anyway, back back to subject here. The thing is that like. Something like this that would be free to play that would have all the weapons in Call of Duty history that you can grind for and unlock and Just it would be absolute chaos. I would call it. I don't know. I don't know. What would I call it a uh, battle royale chaos? <laughs> I don't know something like that. I mean, I, I don't Sooner or later I have this feeling that we're gonna get something like this not because I'm some sort of genius or something like that and as a matter of fact Throughout the times, you guys that especially that have been here long enough, and especially for those of you guys on stream, you guys you guys know that I sure as hell am a very, very far from genius. And I guarantee you, at the place where I'm working right now for my job, I'll tell you, I am the least smartest person, which means I'm in the right place as well, because you know, they said if they say there's a saying that if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. So I'm definitely the dumbest person. Everybody Everybody that basically is is a coworker alongside me at work, even especially the people that do the different positions uh, than what I do, but even the people that do the same thing that I do, um, every single one of them has at least a four year degree. Every single one of them is extremely educated. I mean, in whatever education that I have and with my personal experience and with the martial arts and shit like that, I mean, that doesn't count for shit unless somebody wants to put their hands on me, then they're fucked. But other than that, the thing is that uh, I'm not a genius or anything like that, but the thing is like, if you put everything together and, and, and think about what made Call of Duty Call of Duty in the first place, and then you think about what made Battle Royale Battle Royale in the first place, all of a sudden you're like, you know what? This could actually work and give make it free to play. Give us a shit ton of things to grind for and unlock. Um, and, you know, you can give us all sorts of cosmetics and stuff like that. You can also, in the future, you can even do... An advanced movement battle royale. I mean, I didn't know about heavy metal heroes. I didn't know that heavy metal heroes was like that. Um, but even with that being said, uh, I played it a little bit, but I didn't really get into it because um, right now it doesn't it doesn't have its own playlist. So I don't want to keep on like quitting out of battle regular battle royale and until heavy metal heroes just it gets voted or whatnot. So I kind of stepped away from that. But I think I would like it. But I mean, imagine also in the future, like for the people that wanted it, imagine if they had like a a light, not not a heavy, but a light version of advanced movement battle royale. That shit would be nuts. That would be bananas. Now, I know that the advanced movement is not for everybody. And I know a lot of people don't like it. And I know for a lot of people, it's difficult. And, and the thing is, a lot of a lot of even a lot of Call of Duty traditionalists don't like it either. And I'll tell you why, because uh, it kind of takes away from the whole easy to get into, hard to master sort of thing because it takes a lot more skill to be able to jump and aim consistently at the same time, especially if you're doing it one gunfight after the next after the next, rather than boots on the ground. And I know some of you out there think that, uh, you know, if you have a scuff or an elite controller, I have an elite controller, I don't have a scuff, um, or whatnot, but it's more or less the same thing, just different versions of it or whatnot. Um, I know a lot of you guys think that basically as soon as you get one, your hands on one of those controllers, all of a sudden you're gonna be a god, and I can tell you right now, that is definitely not the case. <laughs> that is definitely, definitely not the case. You still have to go through the muscle memory and the training aspect because it's a controller you never used before and you're going to have to decide which which one of your fingers you want to use to be able to, to jump and use the paddles and everything in between. So, I mean, trust me. And for the first, I'll tell you, and for the first year, year and a half of this YouTube channel, I wasn't using a scuff controller. I was just using a regular old controller. And, um... In advanced movement games with stick and move, uh, obviously stick and move uh, with advanced warfare, it helped me out a lot because there's no other option. But in Black Ops 3, there was stick and move, and so. But ever since then, I've been, uh, I've been working on the advanced movement, and it, it, I can tell you, it takes time. It's, some of the stuff that you see in, in in the videos over the last, let's say, year, or even now, in terms of what I can pull off in Infinite Warfare, as aggressive as I play, um, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, I wasn't always able to do this. But the thing is, like, imagine, like, if they implement, like, all sorts of different versions of Battle Royale, make it free to play, and there'd be something for everybody. I mean, seriously, and they could cash in on this shit. There really is no reason for them not to do it, because 
all, all it makes money and more money makes more money more money makes more content I mean they just want more and more and more they're legally and addictively and greedily obligated to be able to to <laughs> to try and make as much money as fucking possible so if you think about it if they really put their own spin in it instead of just trying to do a copy and paste of Fortnite or whatever whatever the hell it is and if they even step away from tradition of what battle royale is and kind of truly give a mic a call of duty version of like this big team battle or this ground war that implements all the different um objectives and kills all in one game i mean imagine if you kill somebody right and they drop a tag you have that option to go and get that tag for extra points if you want because you have a time limit and all of a sudden it's like well i got to get the most points possible so that way i can place higher by the by the end and then if you place if you get the most score I mean, it's just so satisfying. The fact that you can always move around, the fact that there's so many ways to get score beyond just kills. Uh, you know, I mean, and you have the option to play however you want. And however you want will always be rewarding. So, and that's what made COD what it is in the first place. COD felt very rewarding to play. Even something as basic as having those, that number 100 or 125 or whatever it is come up after a kill, even that enhances the experience. Something simple as that. So if you imagine, can you imagine if they made a game or, uh, you know, a game like that, that would be free to play, that basically gave us a bunch of things like that, but implemented it, implemented it into the gameplay and basically, like, gave you limitless reasons to play. And, of course, best of all, it would be free. Everybody would have access to it regardless. It would be cross-play across all platforms. Um, and it would really be a way to unite the community and it would be insane it would be nuts i would be all about it are you kidding me even if the game even if this type of game didn't have the call of duty title behind it i would still play it and it's only in my opinion it's only a matter of time before something like this comes to fruition so if you think about it warzone blackout and everything that will come after that is actually it actually has me pretty excited because it's only a matter of, a matter of time until we get something like what I've been discussing in, in, that'll come to fruition. But the only bad thing though about all this though is that with Warzone and Blackout now it's no secret that the traditional multiplayer in Black Ops 4 suffered because of Blackout because of the amount of time the developers had to put into Blackout, right? So, I mean, I think uh, one of my theories is that multiplayer for Modern Warfare is probably suffering because of blackout i mean history tends to repeat itself especially if the same shit is happening so it's like if you're getting updates that literally do little to nothing that truly matters to the community well there you go it says it all because black uh, black ops 4 did this as well except they didn't they didn't do it as bad because treyarch overall is a better developer than infinity ward the current infinity ward i'm sorry uh, i'm sorry if you disagree but that's my opinion and i think a lot of people will agree um but the thing is that it really is a possibility due to a combination of shit happening behind the scenes that we haven't heard about yet and the fact that they're putting their time into Warzone because it's getting released in like less than a month. Um, you put all those things together, it's like no wonder the multiplayer is suffering. Even, even though it's, it may not suffer in the way that we may think, it's still suffering because you're, you're dividing your time between this and something else. So there you have it man i mean it, it all makes sense i mean this game infinite warfare here has been said to be pretty much a cut and paste of black ops 3 but with their own little spin on it a little bit faster paced and i think that's what allowed them to basically have the time to uh put their time into modern warfare Al although i'm starting to seriously doubt that because they say modern warfare is their own um their own brand new engine and i don't think so a lot of people think uh that it's a part of the battlefield engine or whatnot uh, i don't know if that's been proven or not but the thing is the game itself has a lot of problems and maybe it's because they're not as familiar with that engine as they should be but anyway guys those are just conspiracy theories i wanted to give my my two cents on battle royale why i was excited why i'm excited about it why i'm not and yeah i mean this is only going to birth and and bring about other things that every player out there could be excited for because money solves so many obstacles and problems so if warzone is successful especially if it's free to play kind of like call of duty mobile is and all that 
they will make even more money, which will produce even more content, which will produce even more games. And sooner or later, there's going to be something for every player to play. It's going to be free to play. It's going to implement crossplay because that is the future of gaming. And it's all about money. The more people, the more money, the more games, the more you know it it's a domino effect but anyway guys that's all i got for this one let me know down in the comment section what you guys think what your opinions are and as always if you enjoyed this video let me know and if you didn't let me know what i could do to make my videos better and i'll catch you guys on the next one